Hello everyone, this is Lolly. Today I'm going to show you how I made my clip for October. The theme uh, in our group was travel and I thought I saw this little camper die that I had bought from Echo Park and I was eager to try it. I don't know, I'm not really 100% thrilled with the die set and you'll see why as I go along. So these are the pieces. It's all connected with the mold lines and I have cut that apart. Let's put this right here. So let's assemble the camper first. There's the body. The tire well uh, is on the right hand side and I have chosen to use the uh, turquoise I have here for the, for the accent piece. Now this die cuts out the, the door. Now I have saved the um, I have saved you the time by cutting these out ahead of time. First off, I think that door is way too tall. Uh, I think it's kind of overkill. So I'm going to trim it off this time. I don't know. Just let's see. It starts off. It's like one and five eighths. Even just to cut off an eighth would really help. I think. And there it is. Let's see if we like that better. You know, you could see how high up this one went. I think it's really kind of silly looking. So this to me is a great improvement on it. Now I am using the Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. I have the two ounce bottle in my shop online for you to purchase, which looks like this. They recently came out with the four ounce and I ordered one to try it out. And then they also came out with these nozzles. But the problem, it comes in a, in the US, it comes in a set of two. And after a week of using it, I opened it up and you can see that the nozzle is actually missing there and it wasn't in the, it wasn't in the lid. So I don't know what happened to it. So I reached out to uh, customer support and we'll see what happens. Now I'm gonna bring this back in here so you can see what I've chosen for dark gray charcoal paper. This is the window right here. This is the inside and outside of the window. So I cut one in pink, one in charcoal. And then this is like your fuel tank right there. So those are all cut out. Let's get that window on there. And now we need the inside of that. I'm making sure I have the right one because there's two gray pieces that look almost the same. And that is this little gas thing right there. There we go. Now on the side of this window here, there's this little strip right there and that is like a curtain. Let's actually get this on here first for the door. There we go, and let's get that curtain out of there. Very cute. <laughs> Adorable. Now we have the little hitch right here. And that is just going to line up with the bottom of the camper here. And this, our little fuel thing here. I see I didn't stick my trailer hitch out far enough. I really should have pulled this further out, but it's still okay. There is an antenna here. I did this in a darker turquoise. Okay. Now what I don't care about for the tire here is that you could see it doesn't, let's put this on this so you can see it better. There's nothing to glue it to. It just floats in midair, and which is great if you're gluing it to a card, but that isn't always the case. And I wanted to have some way to actually connect that tire to, to the campers. I have a three quarter inch circle punch, and I use that just to give myself something to connect this tire here. So I'm kind of making a wheel well here. And it gives it a nice shadow in there too, so it looks like there's something underneath. Okay, now I can put this right there. And then on that die, the inside, you have to run it through once, twice, once for the black and once for the little hub here. 
but again, it's barely hanging on there. You can see how much is not glued on. So what I did on the back, if you want some stability, I just cut a strip of white cardstock and I rounded the end here. I don't need this much of it. I just really wanted to have some more stability there. Okay, let's put that aside. Okay, so for the base here, um, this was just some cardstock that I had picked up in bulk at Tuesday morning. Now, I found this, I love this, and I don't even know where I got this from. October Afternoon Sidewalks. It is really gorgeous, vintage looking cardstock. So I needed, a, uh, because I'm using this jumbo clip, I needed a three inch wide, but about a six inch long cardstock. But I decided to make it six and an eighth because that's going to help it to actually go around the paper clip. So it's six and an eighth. I'm going to put it in here, score it at three and three and one eighth. And then I cut some vellum and I'm going to kind of give that, uh, I'm going to train that to bend on those. There we go. I cut some vellum and it's not quite six inches just because it was a scrap and I don't need it to be six inches long anyway. It is three inches wide. So what I'm going to do is just run a bead of glue. It's just, just to stabilize it for my project. Kind of line this up left and right and top and bottom. You could use that 1 8 inch wide tape if you wish. But this can go in here. Kind of lining that up. And then I'm going to glue just the top of the cardstock like this and put that together for a second. Now I have some deckle edge scissors and I'm just going to deckle the very end of that vellum. Didn't score my cardstock really well, so I have this flap. If you don't want that, you can trim them off to be, to be even or you could put this in front or you could deckle this as well, which I think I'll do. Now that that's situated, when you're not holding it, you see how the vellum wants to creep out? Creep out, there you go. It wants, so I'm just doing a line of liquid glue, holding that down, and there we have it. Now, another thing I forgot to point out, and that is on the trailer hitch, there's also this little tiny circle spot here. You could do that for like a tail light, or I, I used it to do a doorknob like that. And then I end up putting a gem over that doorknob. So I want to do that. I always glue those things last. While this is setting up, let's get something out for the charm here. I'm going to use this bright pink because it is part of the paper there. Now I used a key and I thought that really made it look very cute. Because, you know, camper, you might want a little key there. We can use the word love. And we definitely need a tassel of some sort here. Let's use that one there. I usually get my tassels at Michael's. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do love, then the tassel, and then this key. Very cute. I can go ahead and put that on the paper clip right now. Okay, so the only other thing we need to do is I am going to use the liquid glue, figure out which side you want in front. And I want this kind of a little lower down. I need to get Happy Camper in there. Now I just print off on my printer. I do some white on black and I do some black on white. This is, this font is Miss Shelley. It's from Miss Kate Cuttables. And we need a little black scrap of cardstock. I did not cut this evenly on purpose. I eyeballed it and I wanted to give it sort of that wonky look. And you can cut this wonky as well. Happy camper. Now the only thing we need is a little gem there. Let's cover this up. So it has a little needle that goes into the 
um, into that nozzle. I don't know what happened to mine, why it disappeared. So let's use the gem tack and itty bitty bitty dot. Sometimes this can come out really fast, so I'm trying to be careful here. There we go. And then we just want to grab one with the jewel picker. Let's use the small ends. There we go. And we will clean up. There they are. I love them. I really am so glad that I shortened the door from this to this. I think it looks great. I am really glad that I did that thing where I added the dark cardstock under the window, the not the window well, but the tire well right there. So it gave me something to adhere the tire on. Could have glued it right onto the vellum and had it floating, but I don't want it floating. I wanted to see that in there. So those two improvements helped. I do a lot of altered paperclip art, and I run a group on Facebook called Paperclip Art. I'll give you a link to that group down below. We do ask that you've been in, on Facebook for at least a year before uh, joining the group. Thank you, everyone, for watching.